So I'm a granddad, but I used to be a soldier. But I'm going to read you a book about Anzac Day. Here we go. On Anzac morning, we get up very early. We wait at the memorial. When I was a youngster, I used to watch these endless legions of men and women pa um, passing down George Street here in Sydney and, and trying to conceive of their joy of survival but their sadness at mates who didn't. It's only when I got older that I understood uh, that each person has a personal story, each family has uh, their sadness or perhaps their sense of relief that their fella, their young woman, is in the ranks marching, able to march. So it, it became very personal. What were those words that people say on Anzac Day again? Don't you remember what the words were? Let's forget. Must we forget? I'm remembering. You know, I think one of the symbolic benefits of Anzac Day is it gives us a chance in the kindest way possible to just mention to children that uh, there will be a blossoming understanding of things like Anzac Day, not to glorify war, uh, but to observe that there have been times when Australians have sought to help other people and to take risks in doing so.